Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Taurus? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Not sure if you guys have been experiencing the change in energy. There's definitely a major shift in energy that we usually experience, I want to say about um, the middle of October. And this year, I'm definitely sensing that like the past two weeks already. So I'm definitely going to be doing a reading about that. Anyways, for now, let's get into your love life. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. Spirit guides, what are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month remaining of September 2021? All right, one more, Taurus. Let's get into your reading. All righty. Now we're starting off here with the Empress card. Beautiful energy. Chariot. Wow. Eight of Swords. Okay. Four of Pentacles. And Seven of Wands. Okay. All right, Taurus. So what they're showing me here is the Empress is all to do with being empowered. Being in your own power, Taurus. This is not fearing, doubting, or even, you know, allowing people to intimidate you. Uh, and the reason I say that is with the chariot card, I definitely see, um, like, someone coming at you very, like, strongly or really testing or pushing your limits. With the eight of swords feeling stuck, um, this is where you kind of question yourself. This is where you question uh, your worth or where you question, you know, why am I dealing with this all of a sudden? I, I feel that there is like sudden movement that's going to be, you're going to be experiencing Taurus. And with the four of pentacles, th what they're telling you is don't react. Don't react to whatever challenges or obstacles are starting to unfold for you. Um, because I feel that the moment that you react in a sense of panic or in a sense of questioning or doubting yourself that's when, you know, they get the best of you because you kind of like you allow them to take control over your emotions. And the moment you allow people to take control of your emotions, you're no longer in control. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel that someone's going to be challenging you, uh, wanting to get some type of reaction out of you. And what they're telling you is stay in your power. Know that you're the one that decides how to react. People can say, do whatever they want to do. But you need to stay in your power. So if you feel like the person you're dealing with or the person of your interest um, or even someone from your past is challenging you or is trying to come at you hard in a very disrespectful way, stay in your power and don't don't react to that because they're expecting that. And here's the thing. The moment that people challenge us or people um, do stupid things to get a reaction out of us, if we react to it in a way, in essence, you're letting them know that you still have feelings because it's still bothering you. Do you see what I'm saying? So be smarter about that. They're telling you stand your ground. Know that no one can push you. No one can shove you. No one can, you know, no one can. They could do whatever they want to do. They could do black, uh, back flips if they want. Um, doesn't matter. If you stay in poker face and don't give a reaction, that's going to really trigger them. Why? Because they've realized that they cannot taunt you, that they cannot challenge you, that they cannot um, get a rise out of you. So again, stay in your power, Taurus. Now, the person of your interest or the person you're going to be dealing with uh, for the remaining of the month, we have the Sun card here with the Six of Swords, the Justice card, the Three of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. So in essence, the reason why they're acting this way, the reason why um, they're trying to get a rise out of you, Taurus, is because they see you shining. They see you bettering your life or they see you um, perhaps even, you know, doing much better than the credit they gave you for. So there is definitely some type of jealousy here that I'm sensing with the six of swords. What's really like triggering them is the fact that there is fear that you've completely emotionally detached from them or that you're moving on. 
And with the justice card here, this is karma. This is them dealing with the consequences of their behavior or with the consequences of the scales balancing in your favor. Um, Three of Pentacles does speak about the desire to want to come together in some type of agreement. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with ex-baby daddy, ex-baby mama. Um, for others of you, it could be a partner that there was a separation or breakup from that is in essence wanting to come back to you uh, because they see you doing and thriving and being much better without them. And this is kind of like the justice card with the three of pentacles. They see their mistake and there is a want to or a desire to want to revisit the past uh, so that we can get in the same agreement or on the same page. With the judgment card, the decision has been made. Again, judgment and justice. If you're going through legalities or anything like that, it's going to come out to your favor because what they're saying here is that with the sun card and the six of swords, you're moving on from this situation because you are protected, because you are um, coming from a genuine and authentic place. With the Justice card and Three of Pentacles, there may be some type of mediation, like I said, if you guys are dealing with court proceedings, um, but the decision will be made and that decision is going to favor your outcome. So again, my advice to you guys is don't allow people to uh, trigger you or to push you to the point of you know getting out of character because that's exactly what they want. And I feel that heavily for a lot of you guys, you're going to be dealing with exes or those of you guys that are in a relationship where you're starting to feel um, that they're definitely starting to change, that they're showing their true colors, or that they're being spiteful to try to get some type of reaction out of you. In reality, it's because they see you thriving, Taurus, and they don't like that. Uh, there is a bit of jealousy here with the sun and the six of swords. I'm scared that Taurus is going to move on. I'm scared that Taurus is going to find someone better. I'm scared that Taurus is definitely going to teach me my own karma. Um, how do I make this work with the three of pentacles? And the decision has already been made. So again, don't let people get out or push you uh, to getting out of character. Stay in your power, Taurus. I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.